Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Fight Focus. And for today's video, we will be covering the fastest one punch knockouts in MMA. Also, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment what video you want to see next. Let's get to it. We all love the excitement of a knockout, but fans of the sport also enjoy seeing two individuals challenge themselves and each other over the duration of a few rounds, something an early KO cannot provide. We've seen hundreds transpire over the last few years, but those featured in this video spring to mind as some of the most devastating and memorable. For this video, we have compiled a list of instances where MMA fighters knocked out their opponent with a one-punch KO pretty early in their fight. So sit back and enjoy. Number 12, Ryohei Masuda. It was perhaps the quickest fight ever as Takahiro Kuroshi was down and out before it even started. Believing it was a good idea to be aggressive early, he charged at Masuda immediately following the opening bell, but this was a crucial mistake as he ran directly into a vicious right hand. That ended the scheduled fight, but the fans wanted more and were willing to provide it as a brawl broke out in the ring, like immediately after the fight ended. Number 11, Nate Marquardt. This quick KO caused Damien to do something most fighters don't when they get hit with something powerful. Silva. Yeah, he's been working that very hard. There, there's no question what the strategy is here. Oh, he's out. He's out. And Meeting in the middle of the octagon, Marquardt caught Maya dropping his guard to fire a leg kick and caught him with the powerful straight punch to finish the fight in 21 seconds. Like literally caused Maya to fly. Looking down at his stunned opponent, Marquardt declined to follow Maya down and let the referee call the fight. Number 10, Dan Ige. The fight between Dan Ige and Gavin Tucker ended after 22 seconds when Ige felled Tucker with an absolutely ridiculous one-punch knockout. He did not expect the recklessness. Oh! oh! That's it! One and done for 50k! 22 seconds was literally all it took for this insanely powerful one-punch knockout. The punch came in the first exchange of the fight and ended the action before it even got started. Number 9, Dwayne Ludwig. Yeah, 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 Jorge Masvidal has the fastest knockout in UFC history, but Dwayne Ludwig once had that title by knocking out Jonathan Goulet. It's Bang Ludwig. Really interesting spot. Oh, bang. Down and go. While the Nevada State Athletic Commission officially recorded this bout as being 11 seconds long back in 2006, the UFC has recognized it ending in only 6 seconds. To begin the fight, both men circled and the first punch thrown was a hard one by Ludwig that landed perfectly on the chin of Goulet, putting him out cold in 6 seconds. Number 8, Rajivaldo Carvalho. This was literally just a deadly punch that was so fast, it literally went through Tom's chin. Calories. Third Bellator fight for English. It might be over right here, right now. It is over. The strike was so fast that Tom literally had no clue what hit him, but would later be woken up after a little bit of ground and pound. The referee only let one punch land till he was able to get in between both fighters and split them up. Number 7, Hamza Chemaev. Chemaev made this insane one punch knockout look too easy. Oh, he always does. Oh, oh. The punch literally looked like Humzat pushing the off button on Gerald, because as soon as the punch would land, it would cause Mir Shart's legs to buckle. It was an easy job for Humzat Chemaev at UFC Fight Night 178 as he took out Gerald Mir Shart with a vicious knockout in the very first round. He went straight after his rival and knocked him out with the right hand in just 17 seconds. It was another super showdown from the Swedish fighter. Number 6, Sabah Homasi. This might be one of the more powerful one-punch knockouts ever seen in the octagon, courtesy of Sabah Homasi. Gloves and Sabah Homasi in the red gloves. Oh, he's done! Oh, he's done. Oh, he's done. The pair met in welterweight action and it only took Hamasi 17 seconds to get the job done. Hamasi managed to get some follow-up shots on the canvas before the referee stepped in. He only needed 17 seconds and one punch to knock out Micah Terrell with a powerful right hook. Number 5, James Irvin. Well, this one sure as hell didn't last long, did it? Yeah, 
Alexander oh! quickly goes down. Houston Alexander approached the forward moving James Irvin. Irvin then threw a lightning fast Superman punch and Alexander was finished. The entire ordeal lasted 8 seconds and as amazing as the finish was, it could probably be labeled the most anticlimactic one punch finish in the history of MMA. But by no means can we not say it was a completely badass move given to us by the Sandman. Number 4 Marcos Breno This punch was quite the crack to the skull and was terrifying nonetheless and it only took 56 seconds. Jiu Jitsu guys just throwing down, turning it into a stand up war! Whoa. Over and out! It may well have been the best shot of his career too, and it all went down at the Legacy Fighting Alliance 111 Combat Sports event at the Upper Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Marcos Breno fought Ari Farias and needed just 56 seconds to pole axe his opponent with a shot. Number 3 Conor McGregor This one should have not been a surprise. Oh, the notorious Conor McGregor, black trunks for the champion. Jose Aldo Jr. Caught it relaxed and smiling. Oh, oh no! He slapped him! Conor McGregor! McGregor finished the fight with an electrifying exchange shortly after the opening bell, slipping Aldo's lead right and cracking the champ with his formidable punching power. All it took was just one punch to knock Aldo out. Aldo actually finished his punch and hit McGregor with the left, but the champ fell senseless to the ground. McGregor pounced only to be pulled off in his fifth consecutive knockout victory. Number 2 Matthew Semmelsberger Viewers who tuned in late to UFC Fight Night 187 might have missed Matthew's sophomore promotional appearance. Favorite Jason with the even money underdog. Yes, yeah, why? In the opening exchange, Semmelsberger blasted Witt with a straight right hand thrown directly down the pipe. The timing was perfect as Witt had just opened himself up with a leg kick attempt. Witt flew backwards and crashed to the mat. His head bounced off the canvas and he was met by a glancing follow up bomb from Semmelsberger. Number 1 Rocco Richie Wyatt You're gonna need to take an aspirin for this one. The fighter went up against opponent Yannick Mezopovs Jones in the middleweight division and the fight was over in an instant. Only 3 seconds after the first round had begun, Richie Wyatt managed an incredible feat and knocked his opponent clean out. And that right there concludes this video. If you made it this far, please let us know how we did in the comments below. Alright MMA fans, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, make sure to hit the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to comment below what video you want to see next.